Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we'll discuss identifying appropriate rejection region involving population proportion. So first, recall muna natin how to identify the hypothesis test kung left-tailed ba yan, or two-tailed, or right-tailed test. So kapag left-tailed, kapag ang ginamit na altern as alternative hypothesis natin is less than, so ibig sabihin, left-tailed test yan. And then, sa two-tailed, kapag not equal, okay, so not equal yung ginamit na symbol sa alternative hypothesis natin, ibig sabihin, two-tailed test yan. And then, kapag right-tailed, greater than. So, kapag greater than yung symbol na ginamit sa alternative hypothesis, yan ay right-tailed. So, paano ba natin malalaman na less than or not equal or greater than yung gagamitin nating symbol? So, ito yung mga common phrases na ma-encounter nyo o makikita nyo sa problem. So, less than kapag, let's say less, no, nakita nyo sa problem yung word na less, lower, less than, decrease, below, and smaller. So, kapag yung mga ito, no, ginamit ito sa problem, ibig sabihin, yung symbol na gagamitin natin is less than and that is a left tail test. Kapag not equal naman, so ano yung mga kadalasan na nai-encounter natin? So, not equal to, affect, change, influence, not the same as, different. So, itong mga to kapag na-encounter natin, ibig sabihin ang gagamitin nating symbol, not equal sa alternative hypothesis. So, yan ay two-tail test. And then, kapag greater than naman, so, pag greater than, so, ano yung mga common phrases na ginagamit natin? Higher, greater than, more, increase, favored, improve, and better or effective. So, kapag itong mga word na to, or phrases, ma-encounter natin sa problem, so, ang gagamitin nating symbol is greater than. At yan ay right tail test. So, in each of the following statement, formulate the alternative hypothesis, then determine if it described two-tailed, right-tailed, or left-tailed. For number one, the hypothesis that less than 20% of the population is right-handed. Since, uh, okay, so ang ginamit natin dito is less than 20%, okay, so ibig sabihin yung alternative hypothesis natin, the population proportion is less than 0.20 since 20% so pwede na convert lang natin into decimal so the population proportion is less than 0.20 yan yung alternative hypothesis natin since less than yung ginamit na symbol dito ibig sabihin ito ay left tail next number 2 the hypothesis that the proportion of ADHD students in the school is not 0.40 so, nabanggit yung is not 0.40, ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin, yung symbol na gagamitin natin is not equal. So, yung alternative hypothesis natin dito, the population proportion is not equal to 0.40. So, yung symbol na ginamit natin sa alternative hypothesis natin is not equal. So, ito ay two-tailed. Next, number three. The hypothesis that more than 45% of the barangay population is male residents. So, yung population proportion natin is more than 45%. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin si Imbol is greater than. So, the population proportion is greater than 0 0.45. Since greater than, no, ang ginamit na symbol, ito ay right-tailed. Number four. The claim that less than 35% of the students are fluent Filipino language speakers. So, uh, the population proportion is 35% and that is less than 35%. So, the alternative hypothesis, the population proportion is less than 0 0.35. Less than yung ginamit, ibig sabihin ito ay left-tailed. Next, number 5. The principals claim that 30% of grade 4 students stay in the playground after classes. So, yung population proportion natin dito is 30% or 0 
So, it claimed that 30%. No? Therefore, our alternative hypothesis, the population proportion is not equal. Okay? It's not equal to 0 0.30. Since not equal ang ginamit, so two-tailed ito. Okay, for number 6, the hypothesis that there is enough evidence to conclude that the percentage of students who are in favor of the new uniform is different from 85%. So, the population proportion is 85% and then different from 85%. Therefore, the alternative hypothesis is uh, the population proportion is not equal to 0.85%. So, meaning, since not equal, yung symbol na ginamit natin, it is a two-tailed test. The critical value, so yung critical value, siya yung magsiserve as parang boundary between the rejection region and the acceptance region. So, it uh, separates the rejection region from acceptance region, derived from the level of significance and expressed at the standard C values, it symbolized as C uh, subcritical or yung iba C tab ang nakalagay dito. Instead na critical, tab yung nakalagay. Okay, so um, using the level of significance in the type of test, so uh, the alpha level of 0 0.01 or 1%, 0 0.025 or 2.5%, and then uh, 0 0.05 that is per 5 percent and 0 0.10 that is 10 percent. So for left-tailed test, kapag yung alpha level is 0 0.01, that is negative 2.326. At kapag sa right-tailed, that is positive 2.326. And kapag two-tailed test naman, positive and negative 2.575. So titingnan nyo lang dito, okay, sa table natin. Okay, sa level of significance, so ito yung gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung critical value natin. Okay, next. The level of significance refers to the degree of significance in which we reject or do not reject the null hypothesis. The basis for the critical or the rejection region dictated by the alternative hypothesis. Okay, so the following are the common values of statistical significance. 0 0.01 is highly significant. So if the level of significance or the alpha level is 0 0.05, that is statistically significant. And 0 0.10, significant. So that is the common values of statistical significance. Rejection region, so this is the... Uh, range of the values of the test value which indicates that there is a significant difference and that the null hypothesis should be rejected. So when say non-rejection region, it is the range of the values of the test value which indicates that the difference was statistically insignificant and that we failed to reject the null hypothesis. So yung uh, focus natin sa lesson na to, is to uh, illustrate the rejection and the non-rejection or yung acceptance region natin. Okay, for example, determine the critical value and illustrate the rejection region under the normal curve by using the given information. So, kailangan natin dito yung table natin. Okay, para madali, madali sa atin makuha yung critical value. So, uh, kung gusto nyo, kabisaduhin nyo or pwede rin na, uh, na dapat nakasave to sa phone nyo. So, given the alternative hypothesis that your population proportion is not equal to 0 0.52, okay, with a level of significance of 0 0.05, so, first, kunin natin yung critical value. Since yung alpha level natin is 0 0.05, so doon tayo titingin, okay, 0 0.05, and then, paano natin malalaman kung left-tailed, right-tailed, and two-tailed saan tayo titingin? Sa symbol na ginamit sa alternative hypothesis. Since yung symbol na ginamit is not equal, so ibig sabihin, two-tailed ito. So, yung alpha level is 0 0.05 and then two-tailed, ibig sabihin, the critical value is positive negative 1.96 or neg uh, positive negative 1.960. So, using the normal curve, okay, so using the normal curve, 
yung blue, yung naka-shade na ito. So, yan yung, ano natin, rejection region. So, that is negative 1.96. At dito rin ay yung rejection region natin. So, ito, okay, yung hindi walang shade, that is acceptance region. Ngayon, class, this one, yung line na to, okay, so yung line na to, yan yung uh, critical value natin, which is negative 1.96. Ito yung, kung basa yung uh, maghahati between rejection region and the acceptance region. So, parang boundary siya. So, ganun din dito. So, ito ay two-tailed test. Okay, since the alpha level here is 0.05, so, i-divide natin sa 2 yan. So, ito yung, uh, ano niya, no? Yung alpha level dito is 0.05 divide 2. So, that is what? What will be the value? So, 0. Uh, 0 0.05, what is, pag divide natin sa 2 yan, of course, that is 0 0.025. So, ito ay 0 0.025. At ito rin ay 0.025. Okay, next. So, the given alternative hypothesis, your population proportion is greater than 0.35. Okay, with a level of significance of 0.01. So, first, uh, kunin natin yung critical value natin. Since the alpha level is 0.01, so dito tayo titingin ngayon. At paano natin malalaman kung left-tailed, right-tailed, and two-tailed sa symbol na ginamit? Okay? Sa alternative hypothesis natin. Since greater than, ibig sabihin, right-tailed. Okay? Titingin ta ito ay right-tailed. So, tingin tayo 0.01 din sa right-tailed. So, ito ay positive 2.326. Okay? Tatandaan, kapag greater than, automatic positive yan. Okay? So, now we can illustrate the rejection region using the normal curve. So, makikita nyo class na nandito, okay, nand sa part na to, nandito yung critical value natin. Itong line, itong blue line na may solva dito, okay, so ito yung critical value natin na 2.326. And itong part na to, that is the rejection region, okay, so yung rejection region natin, ito. So, ito, yun yung acceptance region natin. Next, the given alternative hypothesis, your population proportion is less than 0.70. Okay, with level of significance 0.10. First, kunin natin, determine the critical value. So, since 0.10, saan tayo titingin? Dito tayo sa last na column. And then, less than yung symbol, so ito ay left-tailed. So, 0 0.10 tapos left-tailed. So, that is negative 1.28. So, kapag left-tailed kasi class, automatic yung sign natin doon negative kasi nasa uh, left side siya ng normal curve natin. So, therefore, the critical value is 1.28. Now, we can illustrate the rejection region using the normal curve. Okay, so itong line, again, itong line na to, that is the critical value natin and that is negative 1.28. Tapos itong blue na to, itong part na yan, yan yung rejection region natin. And then, nandito yung acceptance natin. So, para saan ba ito? So, once na yung computed value natin, nandito, no? it lies within the rejection region, ibig sabihin, i-reject -re natin yung null hypothesis. Pero kapag yung computed value natin, nandito sa acceptance region, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, yung about dyan, i-discuss natin yan sa susunod na discussion. So, yung focus lang natin muna ngayon is to illustrate no, uh, yung rejection region natin okay, using the critical value. Next. A sample of 120 students is randomly selected from Masayahin High School and 21 of them said they are left-handed. Test the hypothesis that less than 22% of the students are left-handed by using the level of significance 0.05. So, kailangan ulit natin yung level of significance, yung table natin dito. And then, first na gagawin, identify the level of significance. Ano ba yung level of significance natin dito? That is 0.05. Pangalawang step, formulate the alternative hypothesis. So, ano yung... Ano ba yung population proportion natin? 22%. Okay, 22%. And 
and that is less than 22%. So, ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin, the population proportion is less than 0.22. And pangalatlong step, determine the critical value. Since uh, yung alpha level natin is 0.05, dito tayo titignan ngayon, and then less than ang ginamit, ibig sabihin, that is a left-tailed test. So, ito yon. So, ito yung critical value natin. So, the critical value is negative 1.645. After that, illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. Since left-tailed to, so, of course, makikita natin no, yung shaded part portion natin na sa left side ng normal curve natin. So, itong line na to, nandito yung critical value natin na negative 1.645. So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to, that is the rejection region. At ito naman, Okay, yung acceptance region natin. Okay, next. In Kalinga Special Education School, a sample of 144 students was chosen and among them, 48 are diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or yung ADHD. At a uh, level of significance 0 0.01, test the hypothesis that the proportion of ADHD students in the school is not 0 0.40. So, again, kailangan natin first identify the level of significance. So, the level of significance is 0 0.01. Next, formulate the alternative hypothesis. So, ano yung alternative hypothesis natin? Since nakalagay dito is not 0 0.40, okay? Is not 0 0.40, so ibig sabihin the population proportion is 0 0.40. So, is not, so therefore not equal. Okay, not equal yung symbol na gagamitin natin. So, the population proportion is not equal, 0 0.40. After that, determine the critical value. Yung 0 0.01, dito tayo titingin. Since not equal yung symbol, ibig sabihin two-tailed yan. So, 0 0.01, tingin two-tailed. And that is, the critical value is positive negative 2.575. And the last step is illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. So, since uh, two-tailed dito, so meron tayong rejection region dito at meron din doon. Okay, sa kabilaan. So, ibig sabihin ito, itong line na to, that is negative 2.575. Uh, at itong line na to, ito naman ay positive 2.575. Okay, kung... Nandyan man yung computed value natin, ibig sabihin, i-reject -re natin yung null hypothesis. Pero kapag nandito sa acceptance region natin, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, yung 0 0.05, ito yon, Kasi plus a uh, two-tailed siya. So, kailangan natin i-divide yung level of significance natin sa dalawa. So, 0 0.01 divide 2. So, ito ay... 0 0.05, ito rin ay 0. Point, uh, 0 0.005 pala, at ito rin ay 0 0.005. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.